Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks so much for joining me in this gentle yoga practice. This is a great practice when you want to get your day started off in a good, happy place. So let's get started in a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes, your hands come together. A long deep breath in. As you exhale, let's rest the hands down. Set the intention for today's practice to accept all imperfections, any imperfections that you would normally judge or criticize. Just set the intention to practice santosha, contentment, to whatever arises. Feel your breath, feel your body, feel your mind, and accept yourself completely. A long, deep breath in and a long deep breath out very good we'll open the eyes and begin with the side leans we're going to lean the body to the side to help wake the hips up a long deep breath in as you exhale we'll lean over to the side inhale let's sweep the left arm up and just kind of spiral open very good and we'll stay for five breaths let your breath be deep and harmonious, almost just like a way to connect breath, body, and mind so that everything kind of slips into an effortless alignment. We'll go for maybe two more breaths. Don't overdo it, just let it be gentle. Start to kind of enervate the hips a little, give them a little energy, and then inhale. We'll come back to the center. We're gonna go over to the other side, so a long, deep breath in. As you exhale, over to the other side. Sweep the arm and give me a big breath. Nice. Again, about five breaths, so keep it breathing, keep it easy, no forcefulness. Forgiveness is a big part of acceptance, huh? Where can you forgive yourself today? One more breath. Let's inhale, come back to the center. We're going to move now into Baddha Konasana. The heels come into each other. The bases of the big toes press into each other. We're going to lightly hold on to the ball or mound of the big toe and lift the center of the chest. Very good. If your hips feel very tight, this is that opportunity to accept what is. So if we're tight, it's very easy to feel frustrated and to feel like, gosh, yoga is not for me. So this is why we practice acceptance. You don't need to be flexible to benefit from your yoga practice. In fact, the more you feel that yoga asana is difficult for you, the deeper the inner work can be when you come into the practice. So do your best to maintain a peaceful attitude towards breath, body, and mind, whether it's a pleasurable experience or whether the experience is difficult. We'll stay for two more breaths. I hope you've been breathing this whole time. Good. One more long breath in. And a long breath out. Very good. We're going to spiral the knees in together. Give yourself a little hug. We're going to head on over to the hands and knees. Staying on the hands and knees for a moment. Give yourself a little wiggle. Then we're going to curl the toes under and inhale. Come on up to downward facing dog. All right, we got our downward dog. You can give the hips a little sway to reset the shoulders. We can bend one knee, bend the other knee, and nicely done. Now we stay for five breaths from here. So we have one. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Two. That's it. Keep breathing. Three. Very good. No forcefulness, just the breath, four, one more, and five. Exhale, let's spiral the knees all the way back down. We point the feet. We're going to walk the hands forward and work on puppy pose, which will help you stretch your upper back a little bit more. Let's externally rotate the shoulders and then exhale, aim the forehead towards the mat, release your upper back and come up onto your fingertips. And we have one, two, nice, keep breathing, three, four, that's good, 
good. Stretch it out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And five, walk your hands back. Let's inhale. Lift the center of the head up. Come back to your hands and knees. Good, let's roll through cat and cow. Inhale, extend your spine. Deep breath in. Exhale, round and roll all the way under. Inhale, extend. Deep breath in. Exhale, let's round and roll it on under. Last one. Inhale, extend. Deep breath in. Exhale, round. Let's roll it on under. Come back to neutral. Let's walk the hands forward. And exhale, let's lie down on the stomach. And now we have the cobra pose. Let's walk your hips a little bit back. Press into the elbows and lift the center of the chest. And we'll stay here for five breaths. One. Activate the legs. Two. You can give your hips a little wiggle that can help release the spine. Make sure to not fold into the neck too much, but reach out through the top of the head. So we've got three, four, nice, we're almost there. Five, gentle relax. Rest your head down for a moment. Then we'll walk the hands back, curl the toes under. Inhale, press it back to your tabletop position, hands and knees. Walk your feet a little forward. We're gonna cross the feet and come on down to seated. Stretch your legs forward, move the hips forward, and exhale, let's roll the spine down. Okay, we are in constructive rest position. Take a moment and just settle your sacrum on the ground. Let your knees spiral in towards each other. Very good. Ooh, one more breath here to just let everything go. So good. Then we'll point the feet. And inhale, we'll bring both knees up into the chest and give yourself a squeeze. Let the hips settle into their sockets. Rolling gently from side to side. Inhale, we'll lift the legs up. Taking your hands on your thighs for a little support. And you could lightly bend the knees if that's better for you. Or placing the hands underneath the hips. One. Back to shoulders. Two. Three. Keep the mind quiet and calm. For four. One more big breath in. Exhale. Place the feet back on the ground. Extend the legs all the way out. And then prop yourself up on your elbows, walking the elbows back. Inhale, lift the center of the chest. And exhale, reach back, moving your elbows as far forward as you need to until you can feel the chest lifting up and the top of the head reaching back for fish pose or matsyasana. We'll stay for five breaths. One, you could close your eyes or gaze to the nose tip. Two, three, keep breathing. Four, we got the last breath. And five, inhale, we lift the chest up and exhale. Let's separate the feet, relax the legs, roll the shoulders open, and take a deep breath, let everything go. Remember that intention to accept the imperfection. Accept what is, without needing it to be anything different. Accept your breath, accept your body, accept your mind, and all that is. Another long deep breath in. 
And as you exhale, feel how good that state of santosha, contentment, feels. Steep in that vibration for another moment. And then we reawaken the body, your fingers, toes, hands and feet, the arms and legs. We'll bend the knees back to constructive rest. Another deep breath in. Exhale, knees to the chest. Roll it on over to the side. And inhale, we'll come all the way back up to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes for a moment. Hands in prayer. A deep breath in. Ooh. As you exhale, let's softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love today and every day. Namaste. Keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing.